Welcome back to Fallout 76, everybody. Where are we? Well, one way to find out is to look at the map. We're just south, south of Site Alpha. And uh, if you watched the last episode, you saw the craziness that took place in that episode. Uh, I actually went out and did a little bit of research, something I don't normally do. Just a little bit of research on how the heck I'm supposed to decrypt this code that we need to go down into one of these sites to launch a nuke. And uh, as you guys are well aware, I'm sure, in the last episode I wasn't anywhere close to having a code that I needed to launch a nuke. But at least now I know it's ahead of me in these sites and it is a lot, a lot of work, a ridiculous amount of work. Uh, but before I do that ridiculous amount of work, I need to do the ridiculous amount of work of uh, decrypting the codes. And uh, just in my search this morning, I really never found anybody who explained or showed how to decrypt the codes. Um, everybody was like, I'll just go to this website. It'll decrypt it for you. Well, I mean, okay. But I kind of like to try to do it in game, you know, play the game. Uh, so I'm still not real sure on how to decrypt the codes, but uh, one thing I'm pretty sure of is that I would need um, eight of these um, silo codes. I've got one of them. So I would need eight of these silo codes that I'm going to scroll down to here. Right here. Right here I have silo alpha codes code piece F7. So I need the eight codes just for one site. Then I would take these back to the enclave and look at that board in the back of the room uh, where there's a, a word that's being decrypted. And then somehow I turn using the silo codes, I turn that into an eight digit um, numeric code. Um, so Oh, okay. And the other thing is, is that that those codes or the the code that you need the the code resets every week on Monday at like 7 p.m. I'm not sure what time zone. Maybe midnight UTC. I'm not sure. Um, so, what I believe you have you would have to do in order to launch a, co a nuke is uh, shoot down the cargo bot. And get the um, key card from it, I think. Then you would have to go back to the Enclave uh, and search for eight of these, those officer dudes that are carrying the silo codes. Go out and kill eight of those dudes. Get eight codes for one of the sites. Then you would have to wait until um, the uh, word appears in the Enclave bunker. And then once that word appears, or enough of the word appears... Uh, you would use your silo code somehow with that word to come up with an eight digit number that would be the launch code for the nukes. And then after all that, then you would go into one of these sites like Site Alpha here and fight your way through that insanity that I fought my way through in the last episode that I didn't make my way through uh, because I had, I had to go to bed, man. It was like freaking one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it was crazy, man. Um... And I found out that it looks like I was actually fairly close to the end. Uh, but I bet you there was still at least another half hour, if not another hour of work. So I, in this episodic way that I do this playthrough, you know, I play for about an hour at a time. I don't know how I can do all that stuff in one episode. Uh, because another thing is, is that I believe that these um, silo codes uh, break... Ooh after a, a couple of days, I think. So they don't even last the whole week, I don't think. So you'd have to get all eight codes in a short amount of time, and you'd have to get them uh, close enough to the time that the um, word is displayed in the enclave. Um, so, yeah. And then you'd have to leave enough time to go into the silos and fight your way through all that crap. So... That's, that's going to be a, a, a multiple episode thing. So one of these days, a, like a weekend maybe, uh, I'll have to see if I can't, you know, set aside a couple hours of playtime 
and uh, just go for it. You know, start at the starting, get the key card, get all of the silo codes, try to decode it, uh, go down into one of those, these silos, fight my way through it and launch the nuke. Uh, so that's something that I'm going to try to do in the future, like I said, when I have um, time to sit down for a couple of hours. And then I could just, you know, if it takes me three hours to do it, well, then I'll split it up into three episodes. So that is my plan for that. But, uh, you know, the last episode I don't think was a waste. At least I got to see what's ahead of me, and I have a little bit of foreknowledge now so that the next time I go down in one of those uh, silos, I kind of know what to expect and what to do. So it was good reconnaissance. That's what it was. So hopefully it wasn't driving you too crazy in the last episode. Like you moron, you don't even have the code. What are you doing? Well, the reason I went down in there is because I was hoping it would kind of explain things a little bit to me because I was a bit confused. So anyway, that is what I'm going to need to do in order to, um, launch a nuke. What am I going to do in this episode? To tell you the truth, I just want to do some exploring, man. I, I, that wore me out, that uh, episode last night. I mean, it really, really wore me out. I am tired. Uh, so I don't I don't really want to mess with uh, silo codes. I don't want to mess with um, going back to White Springs, where all the vendors are. Um, apparently, I walked past faction vendors. I, I didn't even notice that. Uh... So, we're just going to do some exploring in this episode. Um, there's this place down here called US-13C Bivouac. And then... I don't even know what these are. These... Forward Station Alpha for Firebase Major. There's a couple of places that we haven't visited yet. Um, and if I look at my compass... Let's see here. In that direction is this. And in that direction is a little house, which would be this thing, Big Fred's. In that direction, of course, is Site Alpha. And that's all that's showing up on my compass. So, um, one, I guess one thing that I really do need to do is uh, make me some more ammo. I need to go back to my camp and make some ammo. That's what I need to do. And then maybe from there we'll walk around a little bit. But anyway, let's fast travel back to my camp. Uh, I'm going to make some ammo for my, um, uh, well, whatever this automatic rifle is that I'm carrying around because I used up almost all of my ammo for that weapon in the last episode. Okay, so, go to my inventory, go to my weapons, um, let me scrap a bunch of this stuff. Scrap, scrap my junk. Uh, I'm gonna scrap some... Oh, okay. Weird. What the heck? Why am I not showing any weapons here? When I went in here and I went to weapons... Oh, okay. It's because it's all these... Um, these are um, grenades and such. Okay. This... No, that this weapon right here. This uses 5.56. Five, so I need to make some 5.56 five, five, ammo. Uh, of course, before I do that, I'm gonna, gonna go in here and apply my um, Ammo Smith. I don't know why Ammo Smith is in agility. I think that's kind of a weird place for it, but oh well. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and remove Action Boy and apply uh, my Ammo Smiths. Okay. What? Huh? Wait a minute now. What's going on here? Um, I guess I can't equip both of these at the same time. I didn't ever, I never realized that before. Okay, whatever. Uh, so now we're going to go to my uh, Tinker's workbench, which I have inconveniently placed upstairs. Didn't really put a whole lot of thought into this. We're going to um, craft, and uh, we're going to make some ammo, and we're going to make some 5.56 five, ammo, and um, here we go. Okay, there's several hundred rounds. How many did I make? Anybody keep count? Um, I have uh, 611. That's not enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm here. Might as well make it. Craft. 
ammo. And we're gonna make some more. I'll just use up. I'll just go until I run out of lead. There we go. Now I'm out of lead. I can't make any more even if I wanted to. So that's a good stopping point. And that should be, what, around 900 or so? 899. Pretty hard to get closer to around 900 than that, right? Okay, that's kind of exciting. Whoops, that's not the right button. Um, now, we're going to go down here and we're going to go to my vending machine. And remember I picked up this uh, instigating combat knife that I'm not interested in. So we're going to go ahead and sell that. I don't know, it says sell it for 20, whatever, I don't care, sell it for 20. And, um, yeah. What does my inventory look like right now? 150 out of 230. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty decent. Um, but, if I go over here to my stash, store all my junk, we're now down to 145, which is pretty cool. And then I have all these grenades that I never really use. So we're just going to throw those in there, too. And I'm out of space, unfortunately. So looks like I'm walking around with some mines and some grenades that I really don't want to be walking around with. But, oh, well, what's a boy to do? Okay. Let's do some exploring. That's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to do some exploring. There is this place called Forward Station Alpha down here. It's looking pretty scary. Oh, actually, right here is Firebase Major. That's even closer. Oh, oh, and this bivouac thing here, too. So, there's quite a few things that we could actually walk to from our base. It's kind of interesting to me that I'm, I'm here at this camp, and there's three things right nearby that I've never really even looked at before. Let's, um... I don't know. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Do some exploring. See what there is to see. I am gonna guess that that was probably something I should have done at my camp there that I didn't do, huh? Let me um, take a quick look at um, the condition of my uh, armor and um, weaponry just real quick. Uh, this is a good shape. This. Let's go ahead and repair this while I'm here. Okay, we're good there. And then. Uh, armor. See how it's doing. Uh, let's go ahead and do this again. It just uses up some stuffs. How come my helmet doesn't have a, a condition? Let's fix this. Okay, everything else is looking pretty good. Now it's raining. Great, now it's raining. Let's go for a walk. Let's see what there is to see. Boy, it's nasty looking out here. Oh, what do we got here? Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I guess another thing that I could do here at my camp is um, make me some beverages real quick. Okay, craft. Make some drinks. Good old blackberry juice. Okay, that'll do it. And then meat. Make some gold rad steak. Okay. And then go here to my quick thingy. And then in six, we'll put my um, blackberry juice. Why not? Okay. And for what, the third, fourth time? I say, let us go forth and see what there is to see in my neighborhood. We're gonna we're gonna meet our neighbors. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go over here to this bivouac place, just check it out, see what there is to see. Do a little bit of exploring. I have been reading your all's comments, and I'm trying to parse them. Uh, re receiving a lot of um, uh, tips on what to do about my armor, what to do about this uh, automatic weapon that I've got here. Uh, some of you guys say to leave it as automatic and put more points into Commando and put a stinging magazine on it. 
Uh, some of you guys say, since I have so many rifleman points already, to instead put uh, a non-automatic um, receiver on it, put the hardened receiver on it. Uh, they're all great ideas. Um, but I'm just um, kind of worn out after last night's episode, and I just want to... I just want to do some exploring and not think about that stuff right now. So um, I will do that in an upcoming episode to decide what it is that I want to do really once and for all. I'm liking the automatic, uh, but I'm not liking um, having to, you know, have points in Rifleman and Commando. So I'm not real sure what I'm going to do. Here is US-13C Bivouac. And I hear, I hear movement. Sounded like uh, mole rats, maybe. No, not seeing anything to shoot. Overgrown soldier ants. Shut that thing up. A petrified dude over there. Looks like he was getting ready to do something with that piece of machinery. Caution, this machine has no brain. Use your own okay well so far just an ant is here gotta be more than that right okay and there we've got another ant I think way overkill using this thing but it's okay Certainly keeps them from taking a bite out of me and giving me some kind of disease or something. So we got a dead soldier here. Take some rounds. Oh, okay. Let's unlock this ammo box. What do you think's going to be inside it? Ammo, maybe? Just a thought. Yeah. Some more 556 five, rounds. It's pretty cool. Oh, I can't jump. Mm -hmm. I wonder to see if there's anything in that box. Fusion core just laying there, man. Pretty cool. Hello, glowing rad roach. Oh, I'm sorry. Dead glowing rad roach. Ant meat. I haven't seen my ant meat in a long time. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking this stuff up. Mini nuke. I don't want it. It's heavy. I have no use for that thing. Look at this weird looking piece of equipment here. Don't know what that is or was. Here is a map. Uh, Huntersville, which we've already been to. West Tech Research Center, which is right next door to this. And Sugar Grove. Another place we've already been. Ooh. Here is Flatwoods. We've been there. Point Pleasant. And crashed space station, another place we've been. Huh, so I don't know if all those locations are somehow related. Uh, they're all marked on this map, though. And they're all locations that we have already visited and already marked on our map. So there's nothing new for us. That's okay. Another uh, soldier here. Another dude in here. Some cool sound and thunder. So, where I live now, we haven't had rain in over a month. And boy, we sure could use it. Um, so, just like hearing this thunder uh, in this game makes me long for a good rainstorm, man. It's like a good rainstorm. Um, could craft some of this meat we've picked up. Never know, man. Might save her life. One of these days. Okay, let's look around in here. Head to my pillow collection. Excuse me, sir. Yep, more mines. A plan for a jukebox. Hey, a plan that I haven't learned yet. Boxing glove spiked mod, who cares? 
right? Well, this, um... This is the bivouac. Knick-knack paddywhack. Here's a bivouac. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I don't have any, uh, boiled water, do I? Okay, that makes sense. Where's that bench I saw? There we go. We'll just do a quick scrap before we leave this location. Um... I tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this. I'm not wearing this anymore. There. I'm too enamored with my, um... Skull of... <laughs> mask <laughs> which offers which offers no protection whatsoever but uh, i like it okay uh let's see where to go next in that direction um is a raider camp called the freak show i mean i guess that's what's showing up there right that's what's on my map we could walk down here to forward station alpha let's go check it out i don't know man let's just uh Let's just look at things. Get a lay of the land here. There's a tower in that direction. That's the tower that's right next to our camp. Hmm, looks like I might have to put on my power armor and do a jump here. What's this? What do we got? Is this aluminum? Iron. Well, I mean, we need iron. Uh, that's how we make ammo, right? We use the iron, maybe, for steel? Okay, we need to get down there somehow. What's that? Oh, just a plant. Those are really pretty. And they have a cute little sound effect when you pick them up. Pretty neat. Down the hill we go. I don't like that I can't see colors through this thing. But, um, I guess it's just some shrubbery over there that had some color to it. Hmm, so in that direction... Okay, is that Kerwood Mine, just below my camp. Oh, super mutant. Oh, God. damn it. Damn it. He saw me first. Shoot. Ah. I just don't feel like messing with him. So, I, I mean, they look like it was level 10, but I just don't feel like messing with it. We'll just move on. I don't have to kill every enemy I come across. I really don't. I have restraint. Somebody's shooting. Behind me there. Maybe it's those super mutants we just walked past. Might as well gather some logs. Might as well. I mean, we're here. What's going on here? It's just like um, plant cover here. Guess so. Huh. Interesting. Sun's coming out. That's nice. Pretty excited about that. Uh oh. The Scorched Warrior... Ah, uh, boy. Okay, well, we've got ourselves a Scorched Beast flying around. That looks like one of those... Anti-aircraft missile kind of thingies, I think. Hmm. Am I getting myself into a situation here? Might be. This is called Forward Station Alpha. 
Well, let's go check it out. That's what I came over here for. In that direction... Ah, there's another thing that's not on my map. You see my compass there? There's like this st st star in a circle right there, and then just a little bit in that direction, there's another star in a circle. So there's another one of these locations out here. Let's see if I can get the jump. Oh no! No game, no! Ah. Game crashed. All I did was try to bring up vats and the game crashed. All right, let me restart it. Uh, so where are we? Where is the game decided to put me? Let's look at our map. We are right here, uh, just uh, south of my camp. Not really interested in uh, fighting this battle that's taking place. We're just gonna move on. Although there is, um, you can hear a code, you know, an officer with a code, but I'm not collecting codes right now. They're just gonna expire before I get around to that anyway. So this is kind of interesting. I mean, at least by going this way, we'll get a kind of a different look at uh, what this place looks like. It's kind of a weird place with all these... I don't know. I don't know what you call this. These dugout areas here. Pretty interesting. This is uh, the view that I have from my uh, camp. When I look out, this is what I'm looking at. This brushy area here. I oh, it's a detected for a second there. A frog. Okay, I ain't worried about that frog. Hmm, looks like there's a farm in that direction. That is also something that uh, I have not discovered yet. of interesting sound effects out here. Well, I'm not seeing a scorched flying around. What do we got over there? Okay, there we go. Ooh! There's a sentry bot. Probably not going to be friendly, level 30 sentry bot. Let's see if we can get the jump on him. If, if I can climb out of here, I don't know if I can. That's kind of high. Crouch down here. Okay, so... Oh, now see, this is actually bad. It was explained to me. And it makes sense that... When, um... Enemies are fighting with each other, well, they're taking health away from each other. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Okay, that's great. Alright, wonderful. Okay, do you mind? Alright. Okay. Dude, I'm trying to keep a low cover here. Uh huh. Okay, great. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, go away. Go away. Okay, good. Uh, so anyway, when, when enemies are fighting each other, they take some of their health away. And uh, my instigating weapon... Um, instigating... I think... Only has its bonus on enemies with full health. So, obviously, if these guys are fighting each other... Uh, they're taking some of their health away, so I don't get the max benefit from my instigating weapon. What is going on over here? Like a freaking helicopter. <laughs> That'll shut him up. Okay, we got him. We got sneak attack on him. Not much damage on him at all. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was good. Nice. Ooh, there's a level 52 Colonel Gutsy. 
Where'd that level 52 guy go? Come on. Nice. Nice. Shut him up. These guys look like they had full health to me. Maybe they did. Something moving to my left, I feel like. Oh, awesome. Look. She's gonna blow! Pieces flying all over the place. Pretty cool, man. Oh, there's a house over there. That must be that farm I see on my compass. Yeah. I thought I heard something to my left. This is a uh, Robo Brain Sentry. Help ourselves to some junk. Here we've discovered forward station alpha. Here is an automated surface to air missile that is in really bad shape. I'm gonna leave it alone for now though. Another one over there. There's no scorch beasts flying around. I think, isn't there a fissure nearby here? No, the fissure's up here, okay. <laughs> Cracks me up that there'd be wind chimes here. These military dudes set up this base and somebody's like, you know what this place needs? Wind chimes. Haha, <laughs> sentry bot, you're dead. Um, ruptured hallucinogen gas canisters, okay. It's pretty specific. Tool case to unlock. Wood. Would you like some wood? It's in here. Just some beds. I don't think there's any way I could sleep like this, man. I'd have to be pretty tired. I'm a, I'm a picky sleeper. Gotta be just so for me to sleep. Hmm. I see that there looks like there's a magazine there. But, um... There we go. Got it. Well, that's a cool cover. Ten number one hits, including... Kara... What does it say? Oh, Carburetor Heartbreak? Is that what that says? Rockobot takes the nation by storm. Tesla Science 8 added. And I like there's even a little pair of glasses sitting there, too. Ah, crap. Okay, good. Whew. I'm going to be stuck there for a moment. This guy was reaching maybe for the... Uh, the ASAM here. That's what I'm going to call it. ASAM. But thankfully, there's no um, Scorchies running around out here right now. Scorch Beasts. Although it seems like these two ASAMs would um, make quick work of them. Huh. A Brotherhood Corpse. Interesting. What are you doing out here? Huh. Boy, I haven't seen many Brotherhood Corpses. Military ammo bag. That's got some good stuff in it. Some good old military grade duct tape. That's some good stuff right there, man. Alright. So. This. Is forward station alpha. Somebody's got this little chair here. Okay. Do a quick craft here. See if there's anything we could craft. Nope, nothing to craft. What happened to that um, level 52 dude? Was that him that I just looted? I'm not sure. Uh, military ammo bag. Mini nuke. I don't need the mini nuke. Remember during the explosion, something went flinging over in this direction, I think. Hmm. 
must have been this guy. Get some lead scrap. That's good. I'm out of lead. Go for more lead. A little bit of five, five, six rounds. That's cool, man. Okay. Forward. Station Alpha. Explored. Well, we have a couple options here. And that direction is a farm. And that direction is another star in a circle. I can see the farm from here. So let's go to the farm. Check it out. See what there is to see. tree stumps or rocks down there. Another building over there that I don't think is part of this farm. A lot of luggage. I hear, uh, water. But I'm really not seeing it. Diseased Cranberry. Pick it up. I don't really know if there's anything I could do with it. Don't know if I have any recipes for it. Even if I did, what am I going to do? Drink some Diseased Cranberry? That doesn't sound very good. Uh-oh. Scorch. Scorch Beast. Scorch Beast. Superior Sunset Farm. Okay, let's see if he stays over there. If he follows me, I might, might run back over to forward station Alpha and take advantage. <sighs> okay. Looks like I'm going back to forward station Alpha to take advantage of those ASAMs. It was important that I stop and pick that up. Alright. Where the hell was this place? Come on, I'm out of action points, dog on it. Come on, let's get there. I didn't feel like I had run that far away from it, but apparently I had. Quit it, quit it. Am I out of stim packs? Take some health, dude. Jeez, how many times I have to press a damn button? Oh, somehow this one's working. I thought it was... Oh, this one's fully, re fully repaired. Okay, cool. That's good. Repair this one. Yes, let's repair it. It's now repaired. Screw you, stupid Scorch Beast. Come on. Come on, I dare you. Come over here. He's not going to come over here, is he? Now that I've gone through the trouble of running all the way back over here. He's not going to come over here. Let's see if I could lure him. Wow, that's a high-level Scorch Beast, level 65. He's not going to come over here now. Oh, what's he... Is there a player over here that he's picking on? Eh, it doesn't look like it. I have no idea if I'm doing anything to him or not. What's he, what's he picking on over there? Come here! Oh, good god, there's another one. Man, all I want to do is explore. I think I... Well, I did 26 damage to him, yeehaw. Come over here, dude. Dude, come over here. Oh, gosh. Wow, why is he picking on that location? <laughs> oh, jeez. Come over here. Come here. Follow me over here. Over here. Come here. Come, come over here. No, okay. A little bit, little bit further this way, dude. Uh, this way, over here. Dude, over here. Dude, oh, come on, dude. What good is this place if I can't get anybody to come to it? I don't want to fight this damn thing. Although I'm surprised at the amount of damage that's already been done to it. It's probably from when he flew over here before and the surface-to-air missiles got him. That was interesting. He's actually on the ground. Okay. Alrighty. Two Scorch Beasts. Ok. 
Come here, you bastard. Come here. Well, I mean... Doing micro amounts of damage. Boy, he's being weird. Oh, that was a neat sound effect. Did you hear that? What is he doing? What is he fighting against? Is there something down here? He's luring me over here is what he's doing. Oh, a Meyer Lurk. I need to get rid of these Meyer Lurks. So that he'll come over here and fight me instead of the Meyer Lurks. Critical strike. Go away, Meyer Lurks. Eh. Eh. Only 10% chance of hitting him. Ugh. Oh, gosh. I didn't see him fly over my head. Come here, dude. Dude, come over here. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, no, no. Not over there. Come on. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come on, Scorchy. Come on. I've named him Scorchy. Good lord, how far away is this place? Come on. Come here. There we go. Eat that. Eat it. Yeah, eat that. Eat it. Come on, service to air missiles. Don't give up now. Why are they not shooting? Ooh, dive bomb. <laughs> Come back now. We almost got you. Come on now. Don't be shy. It's okay. It's okay. Look at this weird bright red on him there. That's neat. Come here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my 26 damage. It's cool to see him, like, dive bombing these things. That's pretty neat. Not doing as much damage to him as I would like to, though. Seems like with him being this close... There we go. That's what I want to see. There we go. Plump. <laughs> right in front of me. Uh, I want your rounds and your liver and this weapon and Scorch Beast Bones. I don't know. We'll take it. Was there a bench here? I don't think there was, was there? There's no bench here at this location. Is there? Oh, gosh, there's some buff out laying right there. Brotherhood Corpse is actually laying on his front now. I wish I could read these dog tags when I pick them up. Just, like, see the guy's name or something, you know? Oh, good lord, there's a bobblehead right there that I didn't see. Not that I really care about those at all. When used, gain a 30% wider sweet spot when lockpicking for an hour. Because, oh boy, lockpicking is so difficult. Okay, that was exciting, exciting, exciting. Can I make anything with this? No, I can't. I don't have any boiled water. I was going to say, of all, all those um, diseased cranberries I picked up, can I do anything with them? But I don't think so. So hopefully that other scorch beast over there will stay over there. So that I could go over here and investigate this farm. You just stay over there, okay? I don't want to have to kill you like I killed the other one. Me and my surface-to-air missiles. Another diseased cranberry that I just have to pick up. I don't like that I could hear his wings flapping. That makes me nervous. And I don't know if these Mylurks are still mucking about over here or not. Gosh, there's like a trailer over here, too. That's not on my... There's all kinds of things out here to explore. How exciting. This is great. That isn't seeing anything. Look at that. It's hard to tell through this, but it looks like a big beaver's been chewing on that tree right there. <laughs> Let's steer clear of that. 
Stupid thing. Scorch beast. Oh, disease cranberry. Dog on it. I want it. Can't wait for it to spoil in my inventory. It's very exciting. Well, let's do some crouching. Sneaking up on this place over here. See if we can get the jump on any baddies that might be over here. Quiet. This place is in bad shape. Looks like a, a trap here. Nope, just a loom. Okay. Hear that scorch beast flapping around over there still. Hopefully he'll stay over there. Oh, here's a, an armor workbench. Do some scrapping. Automatic laser rifle. Uh... Not interested in that. Recoil, compensated, refined, lever, action, rifle. That's cool. Let's see if we get something good for this when I scrap it. Come on. Aligned short barrel. Eh. At least I learned something. Don't think it was really anything I was looking for. A plan for strengthened marine armor limbs. Oh, that's a plan that I hadn't learned yet. That's exciting. Getting dark. They had uh, suggestions for um, getting the Sandman perk for that extra bonus when I'm fighting at night. All kinds of great ideas, and I, I do still have quite a few points here left to spend, but like I said, I'm not thinking about that right now. I kind of have to decide what it is I want to do exactly, come up with a game plan. It's just hard to find the time outside of game playing time to do that. This is all very time consuming. So this was called Superior Sunset Farm, is that right? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, okay, looks like there used to be a, um, maybe a shelter there, tornado shelter, fallout shelter. Scorch Beast Guano Pile. I don't know, I guess I'll take the Deathclaw hand, I don't know. Look at this diseased cranberry. I'm gonna have to see if I have a recipe for this. It's a lot of diseased cranberry I'm picking up out here. Old couch there. Give me some gas canisters. I think it's another guano pile over there, isn't it? Those scorch beasts are big, but they're not this big. <laughs> that pile of crap is as big as the scorch beast itself. The tractor over there. Nice wallpaper. Very modern. Interesting. Another pile there. Oh, okay. Some stairs that go up here. Oh. Died clutching a milk bottle. And it looks like there's a bar of soap in his mouth. <laughs> Yoink. Here's a safe that we can unlock. Should use that bobblehead. Open up the sweet spot, man, for this skill level zero lock, which is uh, seemingly harder to open than I would think a skill level zero lock would open or would uh, require. Alarm clock. I've been looking for one of those. Not really. We could go up on the roof here where there is yet another... Boy, it... Scorch Beast crapped all over this house, man. It's like, screw this house in particular. Toothpaste in a wooden crate. Oh, so important. Must be put in a crate on the top of a house, I guess. Maybe uh, toothpaste is tough to come by here in the post-apocalyptic Appalachia. Maybe it is, I don't know. I have a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm ready to set up camp. Another guano pile. 
Hmm, let's eat some radstag meat that's been in a big pile of crap. Sounds good, doesn't it? Here's another safe. Let's unlock it. Doggone it. It's my favorite bobby pin. Okay. A known recipe, but that's okay. Golly gee, it's important I pick up those cans. Industrial oil canister. A recipe for Delbert's Company Tea. That's weird, I thought I already knew that. I thought I picked that up a long time ago. Makes me wonder what Delbert thing I did pick up a long time ago. Right? Let's see what other... Well, I probably don't have it in my inventory, do I? I guess I don't. Uh, it would be under recipes, too. Oh, now the game. Don't be like that. Oh. Uh, plan for jukebox. Plan for the marine armor limbs. Recipe for Delbert's Company T. Okay, whatever. Well, this was a little farmhouse. Kind of interesting. Some goodies in here. When I saw that thing taped to that, or pinned to that board, I was like, ooh, something fun to read. Maybe we'll learn about the people who lived here. No, just recipe. Don't get too excited. More toothpaste. See, toothpaste? There's toothpaste all over the place. Cat bowl. Dogs, don't you drink out of that. That's for cats. Wow, in that direction, there is, um... Uh, a little hut, maybe? A little trailer and uh, a power station, it looks like. But, um, we'll go in that direction in the next episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out here in this place. Looks like a pretty decent place. Next episode, we'll just continue exploring this area a little bit. And uh, see if I can't find some time to come up with a game plan for what to do with uh, my perks and my special points and stuff like that. What to do with this weapon. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, though, but I could always be doing better, of course. Thanks for your help, everybody. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.